Glenn Ligon, please come forward. <laughs> to make art that grapples with complex problems takes a special combination of creativity, critical reflection, and a willingness to experiment. Qualities that we aim to develop in all of our students and ones that you have exhibit, exhibited time and time again in your work. Drawing on conventions of modern painting and conceptual art, you bring an important voice to the cultural conversation, skillful and, skillfully and thoughtfully holding a lens up to the issues of identity. Your work shows us art's capacity to, to interrogate issues, draw viewers in, and make us think. Among your many prominent awards and exhibitions, you are a star of both the 1991 and 1993 Whitney Biennials. And then you return to the museum in 2011 for a mid-career retrospective of your, of your work that was praised as one of the year's must-see exhibitions. Your work is in the many major museums and collections, including the art collection at the New School, where your site-specific neon installation in the University Center draws on the words of Walt Whitman to reflect on themes of tolerance, equality, and social justice. For your continued impact on the world with your art, it is our honor to bestow upon you the degree of Doctor of Fine Arts, Honoris Causa. Um, a great honor to be with you today. No labor-saving machine nor discovery have I made, nor will I be able to leave behind me any wealthy bequest to found a hospital or library, nor reminiscence of any deed of courage for America, nor literary success, nor intellect, nor book for the bookshelf. Only a few carols vibrating through the air I leave for comrades and lovers. That's Walt Whitman from the 1900 edition of Leaves of Grass, writing about the gift he will leave us, homes for comrades and lovers. And here in 2018, as you're about to graduate and begin to make your way in the world, I ask, how will you use your gifts and what gift will you leave for the future? When I was asked to propose a permanent art installation for the Events Cafe at the University Center building, I immediately thought of Whitman, a poet of democracy, of equality, a poet of and for the future. Whitman's words now ring in that meeting place and ring out from the past. The neon piece in the Events Cafe is my first permanent artwork and although I have been invited here today to give you a, sh quote, short, impactful speech, <laughs> unquote, the words that I wanted to say have already been said in neon lavender, uh, no less, and they vibrate through the air from the past to the present, and hopefully they vibrate in whatever future awaits us. Thank you. Thank you. 